there's nothing like summertime down at the ballpark, grabbing a beverage and some tasty food and kicking back to watch the Blue Jays ideally kick the Yankees' butts. And you're going to have some new food options to choose from this season as you cheer on the Jays. And our Lindsay Dunn is at the Rogers Center for us today to do a taste test. Lindsay, I hope you brought your appetite. I did. I clearly drew the short straw today on this assignment. <laughs> Best but I'm so assignment. excited totally. to walk you through this. I know. Are you ready to see? Like, I hope that you're not hungry because this is going to make everybody salivate after I'm showing you some of the new ballpark options today that are going to be available when they have their home opener starting on Monday. When we start with desserts, we have cannoli, we have tiramisu. Like, come on, that looks delicious. And this, honestly, I'm really excited. They finally have cured Dr. Pepper in the stadium. It's my favorite drink. They're offering crazy crush rather grapefruit floats you have or rather grape you have cream soda you have orange those were never offered option before you're gonna have loaded mac and cheese like come on they're gonna have smoked gouda on it they're going to have brisket it's just oh my goodness and then for the vegans they have a vegan tri-tip taco that will be available starting this season in section 142 also having a little fun with some toronto themes with snow fries on the fries they're adding some parmesan cheese which we've all seen come become quite popular throughout the last few years in Toronto. And what about a little Friday classic poutine? They're gonna spice it up every Friday, try something a little bit different. And I know big hit last year is when they added Jamaican patties. Well, this year they've switched it up a little. They've had stuffed Jamaican patties. They not only have jerk chicken, they'll have creamy coleslaw. And of course the jerk barbecue sauce, some fresh burgers available in sections 120 and 520. And I know this is a big hit in the city. This is the Chung Chung Rice Dogs. I tell you, they are one of my favorite snacks. And then you can't come to the ball park without having a hot dog and this year they've added the hot honey and maple bacon hot dog and while I'm talking to you I just want you to know that all the media they're over here trying this while I'm doing the hard work hard investigative journalist but I know what people want to see is what's behind us so get ready for it Melissa this is the brand new field dimensions. We've been talking about these renovations that they've been doing for two years that are almost $400 million. The biggest change is that outfield. Now all of the seats face towards home plate. You can see some people getting tours down there. The dugouts are a little bit further. And then when you look behind home plate, look at the section there. You can see that they're a lot more divided. There's more room and underneath there, there's still a little bit of construction going on. They weren't able to get finished, but they knew this. It won't get done for a couple months. And those are the premium lounge seats that are happening behind there. And I'm going to completely walk away from the camera, Melissa, because I'm going to let you take that all in and I'm going to put the mic down and try the new tiramisu and hopefully we'll try this at a game together. Okay, excellent. I would love to see a game with you, Lindsay. I also want to get another tour a little later on because I want to see close up the cup holders that are on the new seats that have just been installed because I mean that's something we definitely need so your hands are free to eat like you're doing right now okay Lindsay I'm gonna let you enjoy all that delicious food we're gonna check in with you a little bit later um, get, definitely getting excited for the Jays first home game thanks for that Lindsay anytime